Hey everyone, it's Maggie Chan here, and welcome back to another part of Amnesia The Dark Descent. Once again, I am picking up right where I left off, and since the running theme seems to be that I keep going a little longer than I mean to, even though I'm not making much progress, I was finally smart enough to get a stopwatch app. So I'm going to try and keep these videos about 15 to 20 minutes exactly from now on, um, mainly for the sake of uploading, because it, it's taking me a while to get things uploaded. Like, the, the first video took a good while. A while. <laughs> and um, I'd like to try and keep a video a day. So, um, hang on, they're talking. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum, a Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Oh, we're taking an elevator to hell? Anyway. I want to try and upload a video a day, and um, currently I actually do have a full-time management position job. So, on my days off like this, I'm going to try and binge record, because I really would like to upload a video a day, um, but I need time to edit them a little bit, even though luckily this is the kind of game where unless I just go stupid and completely forget where to go, it, it doesn't really look like they need a whole lot of editing. Uh, do I shut the doors? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that... So, yeah. With what I was talking about. So I've got my handy-dandy little phone timer going. So let's see if we can't figure out how to get out of the baby-face puking room. Uh, I guess I need to go upstairs. The music is so peaceful here. It feels more calm, and I just know... I just know it's all gonna go to hell. The guest room. Herbert's trunk was wrapped in rope. The lock had been broken by thieves, he assumed. He wondered if anything had been left, considering all the hands it had passed. And again with these flashbacks. Another urn. Is this one gonna explode? Oh, I broke it. I broke the urn and missed what the hell they were just talking about, but I hear some cockroaches hissing. That door's just stuck. That one can't open. Okay, so I'm guessing there's nothing in those. What's this? A bunny! Look at that bunny rabbit! <clears throat> Anything over here? Something else I can break. Uh, more oil. Anything up top? Another note. Second of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah. One Abdullah of the Akbar. No, no, don't. No. He was Sorry. Injured, as if maimed by a lion, the man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Herbert's dead! Herbert's gotta be dead with a name like Herbert. He has to be dead. Does anybody name their kids Herbert anymore? Is that one of those names that's just kind of slowly faded out? I mean, my real name is actually Margaret, and that's just something you really don't hear a lot. And then with my nickname being Maggie, all I hear is, I have a dog named Maggie, which, you know, that's just, but Herbert, Herbert is a name that you don't hear often. Just like, uh... Francine is one I haven't really heard in a long time, and um, a long time. I'm acting like I'm an old person, even though I'm only 22. Um, but, you know, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just rambling as I'm searching through strangers' drawers and finding a note. The 
nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. That was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces? In my drawing room. Dun dun dun! Is there more than one orb? Or are you just a bunch of orby liars? Oh. Can click on the bed. What did that do? Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. I don't trust you. You poisoned all those dudes with your wine. And then I just made acid with stuff I found in your cellar. Yeah, I don't want anything you give me. Okay, that picture's been torn. Tinderbox. No, okay, I can't force it open or anything. Approach. Was there is there anything else? Is there something else I'm supposed to find in here? Anything up there? No. I guess I head back out. Sir William Smith had been mocked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Study. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. I guess I should shut this. I don't know what's in here. The atmosphere suddenly changed and is now dark and creepy again. And I hear dogs baying. Oh. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. It's another name you don't hear very much. And you can pick whichever of those three I meant because I don't hear of any of those names. Can I, can I beat a monster with this crucifix? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, wait. I can use the crowbar? Oh, I wonder if I could have used it on the other door. Let me go see. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Okay. Heavily sedating yourself in a time of panic. That just seems like a great choice. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Hmm. So we've got a king orb. Uh, okay. Oh, it broke the crowbar. What a weak ass crowbar. Please let it be here. <sighs> oh shit. 
shit. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's a monster. Oh, please, for the love of God, don't let it look in this cabinet. Uh, I could probably open the door and look out there, but I really don't want to. Uh, uh, maybe I could have defended myself if I'd have had the fucking crowbar that decided to break on the damn door. Is it gone? Am I safe? Oh, God. 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by the ancient stone relic now rests on my table. I ain't got time to read. Fucking monsters trying to chase me and shit. More shirts. Nothing helpful. Open this drawer. Nothing. Nothing. Another shirt. No, okay. Nothing of use in there. Didn't I already break this? Break it again. Okay. So really, all I did was break my crowbar and found a note explaining a little bit more and then get chased by a monster. So, so glad I decided to go back there. Let's go back into the study. He pant- oh, this is the same one. We already read that. Psh, anybody got time for that? Now imagine if I'd been heavily sedated and that monster came in, I would've been fucked. Shut this door. Here's a tindy box. Some stuff spazzing out. Another tinder box. I'm not using these as much as I probably should. I should probably use them instead of the lantern oil. But I never learn. Nope, okay. That looks like I should be able to open it. Jump! Jump! Nope, okay. Jump on it! Jump on it! Uh, a long spooky hallway. Spoopy. Uh, so spoopy. Oh, great. You shut this door at least. Oh, another bunny rabbit. <laughs> oh. Is that a dog's head? Well, so there's ghost dogs too, I guess. Oh. Oh no! What a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. Oh! But I can sense it. It's definitely there. Oh. Man. Poor puppies. Oh god. Uh, I'm more upset about the dogs being dead than I am about the actual people. People were kind of dicks, but the dogs didn't do anything. Oh wait, I've got another needle. When did I pick up another needle? What? All right then. What is this? Oh, that was that. That was a piece of meat, wasn't it? And then they clearly humans emanate more of the energy I see, but then it's fine and then pivot. Wait, what? Oh god. Oh, you're creepy. Oh, you get a little wing wang. Look at that little wing wang! Ah, please don't kill me because I laughed at your wing wang. Please, for the love of god, don't laugh. Don't, don't laugh at me. Don't. Oh! Oh 
is there something in here under all of these? Or am I just supposed to be creeped out by- no, I'm just supposed to be creeped out by the skulls, I guess. Anything of use? Put one of these on this guy. Oh. No, that looks about anatomically correct. Yeah, that, that, that looks right. That's good. You're welcome. Okay. So I don't think there's anything else in here. This is why I shouldn't use up all my lantern oil. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. What? What the hell? Uh, fuck this. Did I get everything? Okay, I think I did. Okay. Oh, another repeat. I've already read that one as well. Alright, so just about at the end of this episode, not a whole lot of action happened other than being able to hide in a cabinet from... I don't even know, because I was too scared to open the door and look at it. So I am going to cut it here. And I... will gonna keep playing through so I'm gonna have another video ready like I said I really want to stockpile these since I pretty much I'm gonna be working all week um, but I will definitely get a, at least a couple more episodes recorded so I can have one video a day for everyone thanks again for hanging in there with me I know it's kind of slow going I'm such a big skatey cat and I get really retarded when I play games um, but please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook. I am on Twitter as well. All of that I will link below. Um, on every video I will put a link to the Steam page for this game. So if you want to purchase it yourself, um, it's a great game. You know, it's definitely worth the $20 it is right now. But if you can get it on sale for like $4.99 uh, $4 like I did, totally, totally recommend it. Um, okay, well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop rambling. I'm going to make the next video, and I'll meet you there. Bye-bye!